So last week we went to GD's pension. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you want to look here. Oh my god, Becky! What? Yes, sir, I'm one of a kind. So while we were there, I decided to make my own twin sun zige, but actually it was really, really easy because I didn't have measuring cups or spoons or anything. It was kind of like an eyeballable meal, if you will. I just grabbed all the ingredients, I dumped them in a bag, and I made it right there at the pension. So here is my recipe for easy duen tanzige. Hot pepper flakes, chopped garlic, an onion, a potato, firm tofu, enoki mushrooms, half a zucchini, this is a tiny hot pepper, it's so tiny, water, seafood broth ingredients, wait, hold your questions. Soybean paste. Special ingredient. Whittly wee, whittly wee. Okay, today's special ingredient is duenjan or denjan or duenjan. I can never quite say it properly. I don't know why. But this looks a lot like poop, you might be thinking to yourself. No, just me. There's actually a Korean joke involving the difference between poop and. Alright, I'm talking too much. Anyways, this is what you need for duenjan jjigae. It's basically like a fermented soybean paste and it's really, really salty. I would say the closest family I can relate it to is like miso paste in Japan, but they're still different, so don't think eating to a dungeon is going to taste like miso soup, but like inklings of it. Aim for me! Uh, aim, aim for me! Simon? Huh? Did we pack aprons? No. Uh, oh. Literally just chop everything, it doesn't even matter. How do I chop these? I just... okay. Peel and chop potatoes. Remember when I didn't pack a peeler? I'll just peel them by hand, no biggie. What the? Gently slice the tofu into cubes. Gently. Prepare the seafood broth. If you want to know how, click here and I'll show you how to make it from scratch. If not, use your fake canned seafood broth, which totally... Okay, you can use chicken broth. Add potato, onion, and garlic. Cook for five minutes or until just tender. Add the zucchini, mushroom, and peppers. Add the soybean paste to a ladle. Submerge the ladle in your broth, and using another spoon, gently add hot water to the spoon, breaking up the soybean paste. The goal is to not dump a giant turd of soybean paste into your pot, which will stick to the bottom and burn. You here comes the tricky part. Taste your soup. If it tastes watery, you need to keep boiling it down. If it tastes really salty, you need to add more hot water. If it's just right, then Mama Bear did a good job. Gently place the tofu in the soup. If you dump it in, it will break apart. Like a girl's heart when you broke up with her. Looking at you, Henry. Some like it hot. Add the red pepper flakes. Little bit. Here is my recipe for easy duen tanzige. Wait. Apron me, bitches. Apronation complete. I'm ready to cook some fishies. He's my sous chef, but he's the only one I have. Let me see the secret ingredient. He's it's a, garbage. It's a bit unsanitary at times. It Let me go into of, your garbage. He gets a lot of food inside of the other food, but he's the only sous chef I've got. 